today, we're going to explore our minds, our body minds. We're going to use an old Lynchy Renzai trick that only exists as near as I can find in this school of Zen. It's called the four ways of you and yi in Chinese. So you is articulation with words and sentences. And yi is understanding from direct experience. So the four ways of you and ye are if I can articulate something, no matter how eloquent, but I have not had the direct experience, that is inadequate. If I, however, have had the direct experience, but I can't articulate it with words and sentences, that also is inadequate. If I can articulate it, and that articulation is based upon the direct experience and corresponding understanding, that is the third way. And the fourth way is if I can't experience it and I can't articulate it, of course it is inadequate. The only, the only adequate expression is articulation from direct experience. And as Jumpo says, this, this teaching has been carried down from Linji to his successor, to his successor, to his successor, all the way to Jumpo's teacher, Edo Shumano, who expressed this teaching by saying, you Americans, you, under, you don't understand. All you can do is overstand. Stand over. Thinking, thinking. When are you going to understand? To stand under in your direct experience. And as Jumpo articulates, if you can't articulate it, it didn't happen. You may have had the direct experience, but it didn't happen unless you can clearly articulate your understanding of your experience. This is what we're doing this week. We're leading with language, which is what the radical part of Mondo Zen is, to lead with language to a direct experience of the deepest truth of who we are. 